Hey guys, I had a request to demonstrate how to use the bottom outlet, bottom inlet of the memory bank on Survival Craft. So I figured I'd show you how to use all of the inputs on the memory bank. So just briefly I'll go over what was shown before in other videos is in the right hand side right here this one is selects which column of the memory matrix is selected this one will select which row so as those numbers are changed here and here with these counters I just have here to demonstrate it will oops, it will change each one of these well change whichever value is selected is what's going to happen and the way these values are changed is you can write to these memory banks using the bottom outlet, the bottom inlet, and the back. And this one over here is hooked up to the back via a wire through block. And what happens is when you have a certain well, place in the matrix, row and column, selected using these left and right 4-bit counters you can have uh, this is a clock input on the bottom and the back one all it does is it will this will be the value that will go into the spot selected on the memory bank so in short I just have it selected 0 and 0 so this one right here is going to be the one that's changed and what happens is whenever this input on the bottom is in between 1 and 7 it will write into the memory bank and whenever it is between 8 and F it will read that value from the memory bank so essentially from 8 to F the memory bank functions normally and from 1 to 7 the memory bank will write and to demonstrate this I will put this one here we'll change the value to 7 and so over here, I'll put it to 7 over here too. That's a write input. So it will write 7 from here into here. And this doesn't have to be 7, just 1 to 7 will work. And now, magically, there is a 7 here. And there is no 7 on the output because it is currently writing the, into the memory bank, not outputting. And if I want to read that 7, which is currently selected by the 0 and the 0, I just simply put this to 8 and it will read. And now my 7 is over there. And say I want to change this 3 over here. I don't want a 3. Let's say I want to make that 3 a 0 because I screwed up my matrix earlier. Well, I'll just change this. This is row, row number 1, column 0. So we switch this to row number 1 and column 0, which is already on. And I put this to 0, my input, and I put this to right, and it's gone. And if I want to read that, I put it back to 8, and it's read. And that's all there is to this. Um, you could do a lot of stuff. You could make a computer with this, although that would be pretty slow on survival craft. But that's essentially all there is to this. I'll provide a link to download this in the description so you don't have to make this if you don't want to. And hope this helps.